Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we will talk about sales order. In SQL Accounting System, when we go to sales, sales order normally will be the second transactions. Sales order also is the purchase order from the customer. So when they do the confirmation using purchase order or even just call in, we can key in as a sales order. Another way of using sales order is pro forma invoice. Some customer may still use it as pro forma invoice as there's no impact to GST and accounting by doing this. Unlike invoice or tax invoice, when you issue the tax invoice, GST already need to take into consideration. So let's look at sales order. So same as other transactions, when you go to this sales order, you can see a listing of all the previous sales order. You can use the sales order number if can, you can remember to search for one or other criteria such as company name to search for the previous sales order. You can click on the new to create a new sales order or click on edit to edit an existing one. So let's create a new sales order. So you just type the customer name, you can get the selected customer. If you cannot get by typing their name, it's because the focus is not on the company name. In this example, it is at company name too. So what you need to do is click on the tab key. So the focus will shift to another column. Tab again, will come to here and click one more time. The tab key on your keyboard, it will go to company name. So we select Kitty. So let's say there is a quotation already being created and now customer is confirmed based on that quotation. So what you can do is right click on the sales order title, transfer from quotation and you are able to transfer the information from previous quotations. So let's say I confirm this one, the customer confirmed this item. So you just click that item and click OK. So it will transfer over and it will be in green color. You may also add in new stuff which is not included in the in the previous quotation. So same, you can move it to the description to search for the item, put in the quantity, change the unit price if you want, or put in the discount by doing the field chooser, right click any column title, field chooser and drag out discount. So if you put in amount, it will be amount, or if you put in a percentage, so this will become a percentage. SQL support unlimited level of discount, such as after 10%, there is a two ringgit discount. You can do this way. Okay, so after finish, you can just save this transaction. Sales order is an internal document, so you do not require to print out there's no impact to GST, there's no impact to quantity, not even accounting. So it's just a record to record down this customer confirmed to purchase something from you. So if you do want to use this sales order as a pro forma invoice, what you can need to do is you need to customize on the report itself or the document so that you can print out as a pro forma invoice. So that's all for sales order. Do drop by at my Facebook if you have time. It's at facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting system. You may watch others or previous SQL tutorial video over my website. It's at syntax.com.my slash YouTube or you just go to my website and click on the YouTube and you can get all the tutorial video over here. So once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.